Hello and welcome to this Legal Futures webinar on money laundering, an introductory guide. The aim of it being to appeal to those who are new to the legal arena, inexperienced uh, or support staff who don't have uh, full-on client facing responsibilities. My name is Trevor Hellowell and I am a solicitor, I apologise, um, though I have in fact spent the bulk of my uh, professional career on the training and consultancy circuit and I've been discussing money laundering for about 20 years now, since 2002 when the Proceeds of Crime Act was first introduced and it the, the whole thing sort of blew up in all of our professional faces. The agenda that I have uh, to discuss with you in this short session is what is money exactly? Uh, I, I say that because obviously, you know, I, I come from an era where, you know, cash was king uh, and now it's all done electronically, of course. But I just wanted to just throw a couple of thoughts at you about what is money and then to, dis to describe the process of money laundering. It's an odd word, it's an odd phrase to use, and I just wanted to uh, explain where the money, where, where the phrase comes from and what the actual uh, impact of money laundering is. Why is it such a problem? Why do people keep going on at me about it? You know, I'm, I don't act for drug dealers. You know, how does it affect me? I want to ask, answer those questions as well. And then if you take on board the fact that broadly we all just need to be vigilant in our day jobs, what do I need to watch out for? When should I become suspicious? Uh, you know, what if I spot something funny? Who do I report it to? Those kinds of mechanical questions I want to answer too. And of course we are in acronym heaven whenever we talk about money laundering law and there's all kinds of acronyms that I think we just need to explain just so that you can understand a bit more about what the game is all about. And just a, a, a final question about you know, where do I go if there's any issues and I need an answer.